when the hisab finishes, when the account of man ends, he goes either to Jannah or to Jahannam. And we have become negligent of the fact that we will have to pay an account. We will have to stand in front of Allah Rabbul Izzah and give an account of the life that we have spent. Allah Rabbul Izzah says, اِقْتَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ حِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مُعْرِضُونَ The hisab of men has come clear, has come near. The hisab is on the precipice. And poor man, poor man is still heedless and asleep. He's in ghafla. But hisab will come. And after hisab, it is either Jannah or it is Jahannam. And may Allah Rabbul Izzah make me and you of the people of Jannah. I will start this afternoon with Jahannam. But before I start, I must clarify certain etiquettes when the adab of Allah Rabbul Izzah is being mentioned. When the Ashab used to hear about Jahannam, they used to tear and cry till their beards would become wet and the ground under their feet would start to become wet. And this is for two reasons. One is that the verses had a direct impact on their hearts. And second, that they didn't want the Lord to see them as people being not affected by the punishment of Allah Rabbul Izzah. So today when we discuss the adab of the Dhul Arsh al-Majid and Fa'alu al-Lima Yureed, ensure that your Lord sees you as people afraid of the punishment of the Dhul Arsh al-Majid and Fa'alu al-Lima Yureed. Because the punishment of Allah is severe. May Allah save me and you from his wrath and his punishment. In a hadith narrated in the Sahihain by Nu'man ibn Bashir, he says that I heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, Inna ahwana adhaban yawm al-qiyamah wa inna ahwana ahli al-nari adhaban yawm al-qiyamah لرجل يوضع في أخمص قدميه جمرتان يغلي منهما دماغه The most lightest, gentlest, simplest punishment of Jahannam is that a man will be made to stand on two bits of coal and these special coals will make his brains boil. And that is the lowest level of punishment in Jahannam. That is, and the hadith says that the strange thing is that he will think he is enduring the greatest punishment, yet it is the easiest of punishments in Jahannam.